Once again, welcome to another exciting episode of Complete Sports Update, the show that brings you up to date with events in the world of sports. My name is Solomon Jaguars, and with me is James Aguirre. Hello, viewers. It's nice to be on the show again. To start our discussion today, Osaze Yobo Agbim in Obasi Ideye Ike Uche out. Keshi unveils 30 man provisional squad for FIFA World Cup. The list includes Vincent Enyema, Austin Ejide, Daniel Akweyi, Chigoze Agbim. Godfrey Obabona, Juwon Oshinawa, Efe Ambrose, Azubike Egweke, Kunle Odunlami, Kenneth Omero, Eldasin Echejile, Mikel Obi, Joel Obi, Ogeni Onazi, Ramon Aziz, AGK Uzoini, Sunday Umba, Obatunde Michael, Ahmed Musa, Victor Moses, Obina Unsofo, Michael Uchebe, Ichebo, Ruben Gabriel, Uche Uwonfo, Shula Amwebi, Nusa Igebo, Emmanuel Emenike, Enamdi, Odu Amadi, Joseph Yubo, and Osaze Odenwingi. What do you say about this? Well, um, the 30-man provisional list released by Stephen Keshi, the list that everybody has been waiting for, uh, to me, I think it's, 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 it's a good list, but I think I have a... Um, I have my own views concerning some of the players that were <laughs> dropped and uh, those ones that were invited. For me, a player like uh, John Ogu, who was dropped alongside uh, Brown D, uh, Ike Uche, and uh, I think one other player. To me, I think uh, most especially for John Ogu, I feel he's someone that should have been listed. You know, he's a guy that has been with the team. He wasn't part of the Afghan team that won the uh, competition last year, but I feel he has proven himself, you know, in some of the games he has played for the team. He was at the uh, Confederations Cup, he was part of the team that qualified us for the World Cup. So I felt um, the coach should have um, given him that opportunity. Because I see him as a good backup, you know, when you, 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 uh, someone that can give the, the main guys like uh, Mikel and Onazi good uh, competition for that uh, midfield role. So I feel like the coach has the reason why he dropped him and decided to go for someone like. Um, uh, Joel Obi, who I think I, I, I was personally surprised that he was uh, listed because this guy last played for Nigeria in 2011, if I'm not mistaken, under Sam Siasia. Then he yeah, he is not that regular with his team in Italy. Is injury prone, you know. Same goes to uh, Gabriel Ruben, who is not also a, a super regular in his team. You know, he, he moved from uh, Scotland to Belgium I think last season. He's been, I think he, last, he, he just came back from a match ban. So, for so me, I, it's a good deal because you have most of the guys that won the Nations Cup. The experience is there, the chemistry and all that is there. So, I feel at the end of the day, we come out with a very good 23 man list that we do well at the World Cup. So, let's just see how then everything pans out. Okay. Keshi defends World Cup list, says Yobo end his recall, and gives reason for. Obasi snob. What do you have to say about it? Well, um, for Simukechi, he's the, he's the one that came up with the list. He's the coach, he knows the players. I believe he has been monitoring them. So I think he's a he, he is in a better position to know who uh, merits a place in the, in the, in the squad. So for every coach will always come out and defend whatever choice they make. So I feel he uh, should be given a free hand to, to pick whoever he feels will uh, make uh, the, the squad uh, good for the World Cup. So let's see how, for, how, how it takes it from here. Because what we'll be expecting now is the, the final 23-man squad who will uh, kind of, um, we hope that he comes out with the best players because that's the most important thing. You know, not just coming up with a list of players that people will start raising their doubt and at the end of the day, you now feel uh, why did this player uh, why did this player uh, make the list? Why didn't this guy make the list? So he's the coach and the box stops uh, and his days. Also, beware of Iran and Bosnia. America wants Eagles ahead of FIFA World Cup in Brazil. What do you say about this? Uh, MNK, uh coming out to say which I think is the right thing for, as a professional. Because football, what it is, uh, you don't just write off teams. Or we've seen um, surprises when it comes to football. 
you know, in, in last I think uh, in the English Premiership, we saw uh, Liverpool team that was ahead three nil the, before they were being pegged back. You know, drawing three three against them, Crystal Palace. Nobody saw that coming. And we also saw how Sunderland defeated Manchester United at the Old Trafford, uh, so, um, and they also did the same thing to Chelsea. So. Uh, Iran, fine, they are not a powerhouse when it comes to football, but they are one of the top teams in Asia. So uh, Bosnia, fine, this is their de debut uh, World Cup appearance. But remember, they have quality players who has what it takes. Just uh, some, uh, the game against uh, uh, Manchester City against Aston Villa, we also saw what um, this guy, uh, Edin Dzeko, did, scoring uh, two goals, and he has been scoring goals of late now. So I think Emini K to an extent is spot on. You don't just write teams or fire. Everybody is like Argentina is the uh, top team in the in the, in the group. They've already given them the first position. You cannot just rule out uh, or that now come out and say Nigeria should be the next based on experience and um, you know what have you. So I feel that it is right. We shouldn't take those teams lightly. The most important thing is we approach the game as if we are playing a final. And I believe that if our players give out their best, I believe uh, we're going to join Argentina into the next round. Going to the EPL preview, City on verge of being crowned EPL champions. Manchester City, even though very unlikely, was very unlikely for them to, to be called uh, favourites this season, had made a way based on the flops um, by Liverpool on the way to the um, Premier League crown. What do you say about this? Right from, from the beginning of the uh, EPL uh, season, and a lot of people have tip game for the title based on their on the, on the, on the, the, the squad they, 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 they possess. You know, they are the top class of players right from the goalkeeping area to the defence, the midfield and the attack. Uh, but it's so funny that they, they kind of uh, slip up in the course of the league. But I think they were able to find their feet. Based on, uh, no thanks to the, the sloppiness of the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea and of recent Liverpool. So, I think I believe uh, they are going to win the league. Now they, I don't see them slipping up. They, they, their last game is at home against uh, Newcastle, where they need they just need a point to seal uh, seal the the league based on their superior goals difference against their closest um, uh, rivals, which is uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. So uh, very uh, unforeseen, um, you know, only the unexpected. I don't think uh, Liverpool will stop them because I believe they have the experience. Remember what happened between them and uh, Manchester United in 2012 when we had to take a uh, last gasp per goal from Aguero to win the league for them. So I believe they, they are experienced, they know what it takes to win the league. Now that they have the chance, I don't think they are going to allow it to slip up. So for me, I can say uh, City are champions in waiting. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. This rounds up another exciting episode of Complete Sports Updates, Take of the Week. Do you agree with Keshi's 30-man provisional World Cup list? Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, whatever you do, know that there is God though. Also, here with me is Complete Sports newspaper. It comes out daily and it's just 15 hours. Ask a vendor today. Thank you. How did I say that there's God though? You don't talk, I just did you. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, don't forget, whatever you do in this life, remember there is God. Sorry, sorry, no, you have to take that um, provisional. Provisional, okay. Provisional, to include that. This one take, last week. Take, take of the week or what? Uh, mm, this, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Take of the week. Do you agree with Tetsi? Huh? <laughs> I agree with Keshi. Keshi's Tetsi. Okay. 30 month provisional work okay. on this. This rounds up another exciting episode of Complete Sports Update. Take of the week. Do you. <laughs> no, you didn't really make the time the English. <laughs> 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 <laughs>